Hi everyone, it's John Nodine here from Eclipse Tools North America. I'm going to be showing you the Tremos V4 height gauge. Some of the measurements we're going to be going over is height measurement, diameter measurement, groove diameter measurement, groove width measurement, and also the flatness on a surface. So to measure a height, we simply probe down from our reference point, which is the surface plate. And we're going to take some measurements by using the hand wheel here and probing each surface we're interested in. And as I'm moving the probe up and down, you'll see here we have two lines of code. We've got the live probe to our reference, which is a surface plate, and the second line, which is the distance between the last two points. Our second topic for today is how to measure a diameter. To measure a diameter, we press the blue key here. You'll see the diameter symbols flashing on the display. So we're simply gonna pass through to find the lowest point, and then proceed to the other side of the bore to find the highest point. And so we've got the diameter of the bore as well as the center line of that bore to our reference point. Now, if we want to check the pitch diameter between two bores, I can zero on that center line and then come up here to this outside diameter and probe to find the lowest point. And you've heard there a beep and seen a flash. That's a smart reverse technology telling me that I found the highest point or the lowest point. Once we've measured the diameter, if we were interested in, say, the flatness on a surface, what we can do is we can use this function over here. So if I probe the surface, it'll give me the lowest point in relationship to my reference. If I'm interested in the highest point, I can press that function key again run the probe along. I'll just lift the part there so you can see that we've held the highest point. And if we didn't want to do the math between the max and min, you can see the true delta on our surface. We probe the surface, the gauge zeroes itself. We run it along and we can see our total error there is 22 microns. The next thing we're going to show you is how to measure the width of a groove. So I'm just going to place the part down on its side. We're going to pop off the four millimeter Ruby probe that comes with the unit. And we're going to put on a disc probe in this orientation. Use the air cushion and zero the gauge on the surface plate. Come up over here, come down to the bottom of the groove and then probe the other side. And now we've got the width of the groove is 3.3 three nine millimeters. Thanks for watching today's video. If you would like some more information or a demonstration on the equipment, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.